So just a quick reminder, this is a unplugged wedding. There'll be photos and videos for everyone to see afterwards. So keep your phones away. We'll handle all that. All right. You guys good? I'm good. You're good. You're super good. Yeah, man. Hello, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Doing good? Awesome. Um, so welcome to the celebration of two of my best friends, Brian, Lindsay. Hey, guys. Um, I just want to thank you, one, for the opportunity to do this. It's very special. Don't cry, but... Instead of doing a regular ceremony, I'm going to go through some things I've learned in the short time of being a married gentleman. So uh, take it all with a grain of salt, and we'll see how it goes, okay? First thing I want you guys to do is just take a second. Right now. Just pause. Look out into the crowd. Don't worry. They got time. They'll let you do it. Sink this in, like make a memory as one of the most important parts of being married. Cherish the small things. Stop, take a breath, enjoy them. All right, we got a wedding to get to. We can't just stand here like a crowd all day. These guys got a party at some point. We're only kind of Catholic, so we don't want to be up here for hours. <laughs> the second thing is, Everyone on this stage are the most important people to you. Yes, that includes me. <laughs> but seriously, these are your family. These people right here. I know all our families out there as well, but remember that. Let these guys lead and help you and push you on in your lives together. That's what we're here to do. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just a tank of emotions. Um, the third and final thing I have to give to you guys is trust. Trust that you guys will be there for each other, to pick each other back up. Trust that you are going to push each other to be the greatest you can be. Trust that you might not always give the yes that person's looking for, but that no is what you needed to hear. And to appreciate that more than just the instant gratification of knowing someone's there to say yes. I love you guys. All right, let's do the vows. Jeremy? All right. Lindsay's good. Oh, you're going to go first? I go first. You go first, buddy. Said. Said. Yep. So Lindsay and Brian wrote their own vows. So they're going to repeat them back to everybody. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Lindsay, I'm not really sure what the right way to write vows is. <laughs> we don't have cell phone reception. <laughs> 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 and there's no Wi Fi at the groom's cottage. So I didn't even get a chance to look it up. Ask him, I was Googling. I was trying to Google everything. Meeting you has been the most amazing thing that has ever happened to me. And the most amazing thing that ever will. There's a deer out there. <laughs> when I met the girl who always wore long sweaters at George Mason, I never imagined I'd be here. You're far too brilliant and far too beautiful to wind up with someone who has to be reminded where his car keys are all the time. <laughs> We've already experienced so much together. You were there to celebrate my first grown up job. You were the pillar of support. <clears throat> you were the pillar of support that I needed when I found myself without a grown-up job anymore. You've been by my side every step of the way, and I know you always will. I promise to love, support, and cherish you forever. 
I'll be the first person to celebrate your wins. The first person to cry over your loss. <clears throat> I'm tough. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> the first person to cry over your losses and the first to tease you about crying to stop me from crying over those losses. I'll be by your side on the days when you need that crucial 10.30 a.m. Popeye's run. And I'll be with you on the days when you're exuberant, excited, and ready to take on the world. I promise to be the person. Feelings. <sighs> I promise to be the person you can talk about your biggest fears with and the person you can daydream your grandest dreams with. I'm so excited for our life together, foot three. And I can't wait to see what life brings us. <laughs> oh, I love you. Can we talk about that? <sighs> yep. <clears throat> I'm tough. Oh, go ahead, Lindsay. It's not Paul's turn. Awesome. All right, let's do this. Ryan, hmm? about two months before you asked me to marry you, we were sitting on our balcony up by. God, that was a good balcony. I missed that balcony of the day. So we're sitting there and we're having dinner that I'd somehow convinced you to eat, talking about uh, the wedding that we had just come from. Matt and Britt. Uh, it was beautiful. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, so I started to tell you about this post that I'd seen online regarding the topic of love. Um, you probably don't remember this, so uh, we all know you don't remember mm -mm. No, 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 no. Uh, I have I'll, no clue what you're talking about. I'll sum up the story for you. So um, this college student had posted about a project that she had in an interpersonal relationships class. What kind of class is that one? It's very confusing. It sounds silly. But anyways, she had to interview people to find out if love was a feeling or if it was a choice. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ring a bell? Mm -hmm. So there's all of these students are interviewing both divorced and married people to get their answers, and every single person said that love was a choice. And that got me thinking. Feelings aren't always in our control. They change, they evolve, sometimes they get stronger, and sometimes they go away. But you're always in control of your choices. So at this point in the story, you're looking at me like the, okay, where is she going with this? But I looked at you and I said, reading that made me realize that I choose you. Every day, I choose loving you. So today, in front of our family and friends, I'm telling you again that I choose you when I'm the most in love I've ever been, when I feel safe and my heart is full when we're living on top of the world together. And I also choose you when I'm mad, <laughs> when you've annoyed me, <laughs> when we're fighting. It's on paper. <laughs> it's basically a contract. <laughs> I choose you when you make fun of my music, when you tease me for crying at everything, when you rant about how awful the Brits are. <laughs> I choose you. Through thick and thin, I choose you, and I choose you through every high and every low, and I promise to always choose you forever. I also love you. Okay. Nice. That's it. Awesome. All right. Great vows, guys. Amazing vows. Right. Okay. Let's exchange those rings now. Thank you, friend. All right. Turn around to Jeremy. All right, so we're gonna start with you, Lindsay. Brian, you're gonna repeat after me, okay? You ready? Yes. Okay. Lindsay. You say it now. Lindsay. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today, with tomorrow, always, and forever. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, forever, and always. Not what it said. Right. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. You gonna get that? Just seems painful. 
Lindsay, are you ready? Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Brian. Brian. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. What? <laughs> <laughs> With the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. I'll show that's what he said. Look at that. All right. So the part we've been waiting for. <laughs> By the power vested me, by the state of Virginia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>